Here on the Transparent FX Academy, every day I give you my best market breakdowns, showing you how you can be looking to analyze the market both from a technical and in order flow perspective to identify the best trading opportunities in the Forex market. So without further ado, let's jump straight to the charts and see which is today's Forex pair. In today's video, I want to speak about BTC USD. I got a lot of requests for an update on the situation that currently we have on Bitcoin. So there we go. I will give you a complete multi time frame analysis. Also give you my Bitcoin price prediction to show you where we can be looking for potential opportunities and for this trend to continue. Now, starting here on the monthly time frame, what do we have now here on the monthly? We have a market which has just provided a very strong impulse to the upside, followed by this correction. Now, in general, after the creation of an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And at the moment, we can see how the market is currently testing exactly the 0.618 golden ratio of the Fibonacci taken on the impulse. Now, the golden ratio is the Fibonacci level to which you expect the market to provide a correction to most of the times before the market can then start the continuation to the upside. So definitely very interesting price area that we're currently testing. Now, let's speak about this huge move. Okay, this has been an incredibly strong move to the upside with over 480% increase from the lows that we had tested here. Now, by the way, when the market was at this level, we did expect the market to provide this rejection to the upside. In fact, I had created a full breakdown of BTC USD when the market was testing this previous monthly resistance turn support, explaining all the reasons for which from here we did expect this market to provide a move to the upside. And by the way, I will link this previous analysis in the description so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. However, back to our charts. Here on the monthly, we now have a strong impulse correction to the 0.618 and we can expect the market from here to provide a rejection to the upside because this is how the market works most of the times. I know that all of you were super happy when BTC USD was just going straight up, but that is not sustainable. No market can do that and it's not a good thing. If you see a market just go straight up, it is never a good thing because at some point that market will be overextended and in need of a correction. Corrections are good things because if you have an impulse and a correction, that correction gives the possibility to build up liquidity to then create the continuation to the upside. By definition of an uptrend, you want to see a series of higher highs and higher lows. You don't want to see just a straight line up. That is not an uptrend, okay? So this is great. This is a healthy correction that we did expect in the crypto market. And from here, this is a good zone for a potential continuation to the upside. Going down here on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Now, here in the weekly time frame, we can see that at the moment we are testing quite strong weekly demand and support. In fact, from here, the market started all this move to the upside. Again, here, the market tested and rejected the zone to the upside. And at the moment, we are testing the exact same weekly demand and support, from which there is definitely the possibility to see this market provide a rejection to the upside, basically also printing another rejection as we have already seen twice here. Now, there is the possibility for a slip below the zone to basically create even more panic selling and then break back above and continuation. But in the long term, we definitely do expect BTC USD to resume the uptrend. Just a quick thing, make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and also let me know in the comments the topic for the next video that you will like. Going down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Now, here on the daily time frame, we can see that at the moment we are inside of a range. Now, which range am I speaking about? I'm speaking about this range here. We can see how the market inside of this zone has been moving sideways for quite some time, basically testing these highs and lows. Now, every time that you see BTC USD provide a horizontal 
movement like this and basically be in a range. Usually this means that we are seeing accumulation inside of the zone. What does accumulation mean? It means that the big players in the market are basically using all the liquidity of panic sellers to actually load up their own positions, okay? So it's very likely that this, this move to the downside was created on purpose in order to generate panic sellers and the big players in the market can actually enter buying all the BTC before the move to the upside can actually start. Okay, now how can we know when we have good probabilities for a potential continuation? Now, at the moment, we have monthly and weekly, which seem quite bullish. However, from a daily perspective, all structure is still bearish. In fact, we can see how in all this impulse to the downside, there is one candle, which is of a different color, which is basically this green candle here, meaning that at this area, we currently have previous daily support, which now that the market has broken into the downside is turned resistance. So until the market here on the daily will remain below this previous support and resistance, BTCUSD can easily provide a deeper correction. However, if we will see this market break back above this previous support turn resistance at that point, after the breaking close to the upside, this will once again be turned support because as you know, in the market previous resistance, once it is broken to the upside is turned support. So if we will have a successful breaking close after the break, on the retest of this previous resistance turn support inside of here how we can be looking for an opportunity now as usual monthly weekly and daily those are the best time frames from a directional perspective but when it comes to confirmations and entries the best time frames are the four hour time frame and lower so after the break on the retest inside of here from a four hour perspective we have to wait for the market to shift from a four hour bearish market as we will have a four hour bullish market and only after the market will shift from a four hour bearish to a four hour bullish market only at that point we can be adding BTC USD to our watch list and as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries with students we will be looking for a potential longing opportunity for the completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. If you enjoyed the video make sure that you smash that like and comment below it really does support the creation of more free analysis education and updates for all of you. You can also go and check out the mentorship program the link is in the description is a very complete program first you learn all the rules of my rule based strategies then you trade the strategies with me every day you get the new daily market breakdown showing you how to apply these strategies with the entry stops and take profits and you can also ask questions and get the answer the same day with the Q&A session. So it's a very complete program. I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in my next video.